Today uh, we are going to start with the next slide. I think we have already done this uh, next slide. We were discussing in the last topic about these slides. We have already said about the domain, data element, uh, database table, field structure components, then line structure of the table. Let us devise it. Uh, you can generate this data object in ABAP programs using the data types declared in the ABAP dictionary. And all of these are the data types. You can see from the data type, the first data type is data element. Second is database table fit. Third one is structure components. Fourth one is table type, that is line structures. However, an ABAP program cannot access domains. ABAP program cannot access domains for defining the data object directly. The data elements can get their data type from the domains. That means the domains is used for setting the technical properties of the data element. Now these data elements that we can use for the fields, for making the fields of database tables, the data elements we can use for making the component of the structures and the structure components may be the also the structure components. Similarly, the line structure of the table, internal table, it may be table, database table fields, it may be either structure component and these generated data object in ABAP dictionary directly you can use in the case of ABAP programs. Now come to the next slide. That is the use of the domains where we can use the domains. The domains cannot be used directly in the program and tables, but the data elements, you can see here the data, use of the data elements, the data elements that we can use in case of screen helps, that we can use as a field ID, that we for making the fields. In this case of these data elements, we have mainly two parameters, set and get parameters. The set parameter used to set the default values of the data element. Similarly, next time when you run your program, then uh, the set value you can get directly from your on screens with the help of get parameters. This was all use of the this data elements. This was the unit number two and the lesson number one. Now, uh, starting with the unit number two, lesson number two, working with the flat structures. As I have already discussed about the structures, in case of structures, we have uh, now um, come to the procedure programming in C or C++. You can see the structure. What is structure? The structure is composed of different data type elements as compared to array. Array is a collection of similar data type elements, whereas structure is a collection of heterogeneous data type elements or data type components. Now, in this case of SAP ABAP structures, we have mainly three types of structures, flat structures, second is nested structure and third one is deep structure. In case of flat structure, you can say when the component of a structure is of type data elements, then this is called flat structures. And when the component of the structure is of type structure, then this is called nested structures. And in case of deep structure, when the component, any one of the component is of type table, then this is called deep structure. Starting with the basic structure, you may say it as a simple structure or basic structure. It is also called flash structures. Starting with this one, working with the flash structures. You can see in this diagram, the structure component, you can see the structure component, it may be either data elements, it may be either integrated types, it may be either view fields, it may be either database table fields, or it may be either line structure table type. That is internal table line structure types. Even you can see there is a loop over this structure component. That means the structure component, it may be either the structure component itself. Okay. Now, once you have defined the structure in a back dictionary, that means you have created the global data object that did, uh, global data object you can directly use in your ABAP program using the work area and the work area we can declare with the help of two things with the help of data statement as well as parameter statements. 
the firstly we write the data here and then work area and then type and then structure name okay uh, now you can see in our sap net viewer this i am running this sap logon i think it is already logged in yes now you can see i am running here sc11 press enter it will open the abap dictionary In this ABAP dictionary, we have number of data type that you can create the simple data type with the help of data elements, structure as well as table and the table is internal table. Now you can see I have selected this data type. Now I want to be create here the structure suppose I am creating the structure is Z person. Now click on the button create it will open a new page in this page you can write down here uh, you can see there are three options data element this is called uh, type data type in dictionary second is again structure complex type this is structure type and third one is again table type now i want to be discussed here further about the table types as we have already discussed in the module one we have mainly three types of tables and the tables are standard shorted and hash tables all the three types of tables you can create in this dictionary now in this case we will see it as a global table type now if you want to figure the structure just click on the structure click on the continue button when you will click on the continue button it will open a new page where you can write down the short description okay now i am writing here the short description this is our new structure new structure now we need to define the components as i have already discussed about the components of the structure it may be the data element it may be the either table fields or it may be the either structure component itself when the component of structure is structure then it becomes a nasty structures now starting with the first component suppose i am making here writing here the component the first component is name now defining the type this is type then component type the component type may be your data element that you have created previously either you can create uh, select here component type as a data element either you can select a predefined type now i am in this case i am selecting the predefined type now click on this data type click on the search help it will open the predefined data types that we we can use indirectly here now suppose i am creating the name here just click on the character character type i am selecting then okay i can define the length here the name may be of any length that means it may be either 15 now giving this short description here name of the person now second component suppose i am giving the second component it may be the person role number is there yeah you may say it it may be the address is there now again the typing method will be the types then again data type will be the character type then address may be the long so i am taking it here the length is 30. now this is the address of the person this is a short description about this component another component it may be the street again type again the type may be character it may be 30 character long this is the street address of the person street after that you may say that is a zip code you can select here the zip code the type and then the data type maybe the numeric type i am selecting here numeric
or either you can select in digit type this is a numeric type character string with the only digits now this is a numeric and this is our zip code zip code now click on the save button after saving it will ask the package suppose i am taking here packages stamp package click on the save button then check for the consistency now i am checking for the consistency then activate uh, yes this is the most important thing that i want to be here discuss uh, you can see it is asked uh, giving the warning here enhancement category when you will create a structure or a table you need to be enhance the category because there are the number of types of structures there there is a number of type of tables there you need to be specify that which one structure you want to be used which type of structure you want to be used if you are using a flat structure you need to be enhance that particular category there are number of category that are already defined in the systems you need to be defined particular category for that particular type another edit is showing that length minimum length equal to one for the data type numeric we have not defined the length of the numeric that means for zip code we need to define the length suppose i am defining here four that means it will take four numeric character now click on the save go to extras then click on the enhancement category then okay now this is you can see there are number of enhancement category for structures there the first one is can be enhanced deep we are not making here the deep structure second one is can be enhanced character type or numeric yes we can enhance it to character type or numeric because we have taken here the character type name address and street and the numeric is the type of zip code if we will uh, we were taking this is a character type only then we can select this enhancement category and another is cannot be enhanced so we are taking it as flat structure can be enhanced character type or numeric just copy it click on the copy now activate it Now you will see there the object has been activated. That means you have created here structure with the name jet person having the four components name, address, street, and zip code. This is a kind of a flag structure. Now click on the back button. now if you want to be use this uh, structure in your program now go to slash and sc38 and then press enter this translation command is used to open the ABAP editor as you already know now uh, you can write here the program suppose i am writing here z flat underscore flat underscore structure i am creating the program name now click on the create button it will open a new page for writing the program here it is asking for the title suppose i am writing here the program for flat structure flat structure now the type the type will be your executable program click on the save button it will ask the package i am saving it in local package temporary package click on the save button now it will open a new page where you can write the program now I am revising about this flash structure while it is opening. A flash structure is formed by the sequence of fields and uh, you may say that these fields 
of the basic data elements or it may be the other predefined types okay now it has been opened you can see there i am writing the program writing with the program that means if you want to be make a work area of the structure i am using the data statement here data suppose this is w a underscore person then i am defining the type and the type will be the structure name and the structure name that we have used here z person now click enter suppose if you want to be access the particular component of the structure how we can access with the help of hyphen that means you can add this individual element or component of the structure by using the name of the structure then hyphen and then name of the component you can see if you want to be see particular uh, structure that you have created just double click on it it will uh, take you there there we have created the structure you can see uh, yes if you want to be safe yes now the structure that we have created recently you can see these are the component now click on the back in this program you can access the components how we can access the component suppose i am accessing a component wa underscore person 